Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Thursday, June 3rd. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, guys, happy Thursday. We don't have any birthdays today, but we are having our school-wide morning meeting tomorrow. So I'm going to announce the tomorrow birthdays and the weekend birthdays today. So those birthdays are Annie Beatty, William Irwin, Ellery Robinson, and Miss Leonard. So happy birthday to the four of you. We hope you have, it's a little bit early, but we are celebrating you already, and we hope you have a wonderful birthday weekend. And we have some more responsible leopard leaders to share. From Ms. Harwell's class, Luke Jepson is a very responsible kindergartner. Last week, he worked with a new kinetic sand sensory box and was so careful not to let any drop off his work mat. After he swept his mat, sorry, afterward, he swept his mat, just to be sure. Way to go, Luke. From Ms. Tipton's class, Rowan Hoyle is very responsible. He comes to school ready to learn. He follows directions, keeps up with his materials, and takes his time completing his work. Keep up the hard work, Rowan. For Ms. Kimidi's class, Ali Ansari is incredibly responsible. He always helps with all of the morning jobs at school. He has all of his materials organized and has learned all of our classroom routines very quickly. Way to go, Ali. And for Ms. Leonard's class, Savon Ward is very responsible. He takes care of his materials, listens and follows all directions, and participates in class. Keep it up, Savon. And from Ms. Watts' class, Bethy Stevens has been very responsible in school. She remembers her materials and is always ready to work. She follows directions and helps others. Way to go, Bethy. From Ms. Case's class, Pablo Rodriguez works hard each day to take responsibility for his schedule and get all of his classwork done. He puts a lot of thought into his projects, is a responsible class citizen, and is a great friend to everyone. We love you, Pablo. For Ms. Schaff's class, Jacob Kosmatko has been more responsible with his routine and getting assignments done on time. He is great at asking for help when needed. Great job, Jacob. For Ms. Rickawa's class, Ali Chavez Simonta shows responsibility each day. She arrives at school ready to go, works hard, and follows directions. Way to go, Ali. And finally, for Ms. Wayland's class, Sophia Ayong shows responsibility by always asking for help if she needs it, participating in class through the chat, and completing her work. Way to go, Sophia, and great job to all of those responsible leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. We have a couple of national days today. Uh, the first one is National Chocolate Macaroons Day. That's like a special little dessert. Uh, our second one is National Repeat Day. Our second one is National Repeat Day. Our second one is National Repeat Day. <laughs> Get it? That's what National Repeat Day is all about. Um, and then finally, June 3rd is time to get a crack on the annual observance of National Egg Day. The nutrient, nutrient, nutrient rich food has gone back and forth with science and nutritionists over the decades as to just how many eggs are too many for a healthy diet. However, one egg provides an excellent source of protein and vitamin D. There is so much to celebrate in these small little packages. All right, two jokes for you guys today. Uh, the first joke today comes from Kyle Jang um, in Miss Bobbitt's class. Why are pigs the worst drivers? Why are pigs the worst drivers? Because they hog the road. Get it, hog pig? That was a good one, Kyle. Thank you for sharing that one. Uh, and our second joke comes from Miss Ellie Walters in Miss Shaw's class. Why did the melon jump into the lake? Why did the melon jump into the lake? It wanted to be a watermelon. Ah, that was great, Ellie. Thanks for sharing. And Kyle, thanks to you too. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a thrilling Thursday. Think about how you can roar today at your house or at school or wherever you may be. We love you so much. Um, we hope you have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow morning for the school-wide morning meeting. Have a great day.